military cemetery? And they buried 19 people here? Huh. Did they bury them like standing up? <laughs> it's terrible, but it's such a small piece of land for 19 people. See number seven on the map, Fiona? Uh, uh, it was built of limestone from a quarry down here. On the other side of the wall was a moat which connected the Wakula and St. Mark's rivers. This is station six, the Spanish bomb proof. These stone foundations are the remains of, Span of the Spanish bomb proof. It was built to protect men and supplies, men and supplies during an attack. Construction began in the 1750s and was not entirely completed until after 1785. Fiona pointed out this really cool tree, right? So, if I say this, then... It goes way up. It goes way up. Then, it starts coming back. But then it comes all the way down. And one. You're like, Ooh. That's so weird, huh? And What'd you call it, Fiona? An upside down tree. <laughs> Look at that hoodlum run. Look at that other hoodless hoodlum. Walk up. Run up, I mean. Ooh. How did you like this place? I like this place. Was it fun? Yes. Was it interesting? Yes. Was it historical? Yes. Did you see a dead cat on the floor? <laughs> yes. Did you trip a lot? Yes. Did you have fun? Yes. Did you have fun? Yes. <laughs> Did you have fun? I had fun. Yes, but did you have fun? Yes, yes I had but fun. Did you, oh no, dead cat's attacking! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dead cat, come back! Uh oh, hello, I am dead cat, how was your day? My day was good, <laughs> dead cat. <laughs> dead cat, my day was good. Today we went to San Marcos de Apalache Historic State Park, which is uh, right at the confluence of the St. Marks and Wakala River. We did learn how to say Wakala, by the way. What did you think of it, Colin? I think it's really neat. Yeah? What's here? Well, there is a giant hill. There are some walls over there. There is a battery somewhere over there. And there's an island uh, left something over there. <laughs> that was very informative. <laughs> there's, also, there's also an educational video inside. There's a museum inside. You do have to pay for the museum. I think it's $2 a person, but the grounds are free. Um, there is a like 15 minute video, which is actually really worth watching. It was very good, very well done. And um, some displays of artifacts that they've found here. And then outside, there's a self-guided walking tour of all the different locations at San Marcos de Apalache. Apalache. Apalache? Apalache. Apalache, I Ap think. Appalachian, Appalachian, Appalachi, I bet. We're good. <laughs> there's also a, there's also a um, pamphlet that yes. gives you um, um, uh, that's uh, the self a very a very detailed map. That's the self guided walking tour. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Fort changed hands many many times, 
First, it was in the hands of the Spanish, then the Indians, then the Spanish, then the Spanish again, then the British, then the Spanish, then the Americans, then the Confederates, and then the Americans again. I thought it was pretty much abandoned after that. A lot of changing hands. Yes. And it was called different things too, right? Yes. It was called Fort San Marcos War. de Appalachia sometimes. Fort Ward. Fort War- Ward was during the Confederacy and... Like San Fernando or something. Yeah. Yeah. St. Fernando. Well, that's what San means, the oh. saint. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so we had a good time here. It was um, a little chilly, but that's always better when you're walking around outside in Florida. It's not chilly. <laughs> um, but yeah, we definitely recommend a visit here. It was pretty fun. So it is really cold today. We are going to go into the Tallahassee Museum and have some fun. We just spent some time at the library because we have no Wi-Fi. So that was good to get some things done. Um, But now we're going to go have some fun. Bye. So we goofed. We (laughs) realized that this is like an outdoor museum. Um, I did look at the website a lot. Somehow I wasn't really explicit. So, we're freezing. The kids are already asking to go home. But I just paid 48 bucks. So, we're going to see what we can do. Um, in the cold. In the cold. <laughs> I had to. Wish us luck. No, I thought that was an actual guy. <laughs> that is so creepy. That is so creepy. I'm just as tall as this. What's that song? Take me to church. No, it's not a song. This is the closest we get to church. Oh, are you the minister? Yes. <laughs> you guys are great musicians. Give us some wisdom. <laughs> There's a forward flight simulator. Show me how it simulates flight. Whoa, that's not quite how you're supposed to do it, I don't think. Oh my. <laughs> What'd you say to him, huh? Hello, little guys. Oh my god. They're so curious about us. Hello, little guys. Oh my god. Oh, hello. So we have the whole place to ourselves, which is really cool, but it is cold as hell. Nobody else is as crazy as we are or as dumb as we are. It's really cold. I don't know how much longer we're going to last. He's right there. Hold on. Just hanging out. I'm gonna watch 
Well, they used something pink. Why didn't they use pink metal? Well, you know the because they couldn't be. Because they couldn't find any bugs. You know the indigo. There's a Eastern Indigo snake. They are threatened. So the benefit to being really friggin' cold and empty here is that we did get a nice one-on-one um, -on -one conversation with a zookeeper or employee, something like that, um, who explained to us all about the river otters and the other animals and um, how they are all unable to be released into the wild, kind of like Homosassa Springs. Um, so that was really cool. She talked to us a lot about the otters and um, we learned a lot even though it was cold. See if you can hang from the bar for a whole minute. <laughs> See, I'm not pick up her hat. Hop like a frog for 10 feet. Jump like a mullet 10 times by jumping as high as you can while clapping your hands over your head each time. Well, it warmed up a little bit today, so we decided to come out and check out St. Mark's Wildlife Refuge and walk along the um, Plum Orchard Pond Trail. It was a pretty easy walk. I think it was about a third of a mile. And uh, we didn't see a whole lot, but it was probably because the kids were stomping around like elephants. And we had Luna with us, who is, I don't know, a horse, kangaroo, elephant, hybrid, something like that. Um, but it was really fun, and we uh, suggest you come out here. It was a good time. We're going to go to the lighthouse tonight um, around sunset, so that should be really pretty, and we'll show you that too. <laughs> Are you going to change game? Well, I think that's too big for you. <laughs> <laughs> she's got it. She's like, oh, no, give up. Let me try and get her to think that she's got it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Woo! What? Where's the stick, Luna? The stick? <laughs> Look at her. She's just like, oh, oh, now she's oh. stuck on it. Come on. This. You're up there. Luna, let's take it. Let's go. <laughs> let's go.
our footprints, Fiona? Yeah. I do want our symbols to be square. Oh, Luna wants your stick. <laughs> she broke it. She <laughs> broke his what? stick. <laughs> <laughs> I will do the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, what are you doing? Oh! <laughs> she's, she's just like destroy everything. Something really scary happened. Uh, Fiona and Mom died. Sadly. No, Luna! No, Luna, the flag! Luna! video